Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Man. I post medicine, productivity and lifestyle videos. Today I'm catering for medical students with a new series that will run over my channel over the next couple of weeks. In this series I'll be sharing books, resources and everything you need for your clinical years. I've divided this into a series of five videos. Books and resources you need for internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology and finally um, a combination of books and resources you need for just your clinical years in general. So the purpose of this series is basically to share all the useful books, resources and guides that you will find very useful and that will make your life easier in medicine as you go through your clinical years which is basically the time that you do medicine, surgery, peds and ops and gynae. I trust that you'll find these videos very useful and that you will share with your classmates, friends, family and everyone you know who's studying medicine so that it can make their lives easier in medicine too. Series, I'll be sharing the books and resources you need for your internal medicine rotation. Um, internal medicine is usually one of the first clinical courses that you'll actually do and it will be divided into cardiology, nephrology, gastroenterology and all that but basically you will typically use pretty much the same books and maybe switch it up here and there for different um, courses in internal medicine. The first one is Kumar and Clark's clinical medicine. Kumar and Clark's clinical medicine is very um, detailed but in a very simple way so it has all the information that you need for internal medicine specialties but it explains things in a way that's easier to understand and then the next book is Davidson's principles and practice of medicine now what I like about Davidson's is just like Kumar Clark it's also pretty simple but it explains things in an easier way to understand so if you find that you're reading Kumar Clark or you're reading another textbook and things aren't really making sense to turn to Davidson's and and things are typically described in an easier way and one thing I also like about it is that there's diagrams and tables and all the illustrations are pretty straightforward and they do tend to make things a lot easier. And the third book on my list is something that I think every medical student should have and something that I've always shared in my videos and that's the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. If this is what I'm talking about for those of you that don't know. It is quite concise. It has diagrams, it has pictures, it has everything you need basically for your medicine rotations and what I love about this book is that you can literally fit it in your white coat pocket or your scrub pocket and you can be in the rounds and if you don't know what's going on you can just open and flip to the page and be all caught up. I highly recommend getting your hands on the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. The next book I will talk about is Current Essentials of Medicine. Now there's the current textbook of internal medicine which is the actual textbook that has all the details and I think students that are studying in China mostly use this one but what the one I'm talking about is the essentials of medicine and this book is also it's pretty much something like the Oxford handbook but it just has all the diseases in internal medicine and it states the etiology the clinical manifestations the diagnosis and the treatment and it's very concise very to the point so it's one of those that I like to use when I've studied a topic and then I want to review or summarize it, I'll go to that. The next book that I recommend people to get is Master the Words for Internal Medicine. Now this book, like it says, Master the Words. It's a book that's literally just written for you to master the words, like word rounds. Word rounds become easier if you have this book. It shows you like, it, it explains things and then it, like on the side of the book it has um, typical questions that you could be asked in what rounds like the typical like triads and you know like the hallmarks of each disease the typical findings the gold standards of um, diagnosis and the principal treatments and all those kind of things I like to use this book just just before um, going to hospital classes and now that I'm actually doing my final year rotations I like to use it before um, work so that I can see what I could typically be asked during ward rounds if 
that disease were to come up. And the last textbook that I highly, highly, highly recommend people to get if you're doing internal medicine is Step Up to Medicine. Um, a lot of people in the US like to use this book and I found that it's used less by students studying elsewhere, but I do kind of, I do quite like it. Um, it's also quite um, simple and easy to understand and it does share things in a different way than Kumar and Clark and Davidson do so do get your hands on this book as well honorable mention in internal medicine that i wouldn't like highly 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 recommend but i can't not talk about is harrison's principles of internal medicine if you're a medical student i am sure you know harrison's now the reason i don't particularly like harrison's is because it is so thick this is harrison's and as you can see it is two volumes it is two big books that you have to read every day now if you were to start studying and that is what you're studying you would typically feel very discouraged and not motivated to study at all and it's very detailed it has a lot of information um, it will teach you everything you need to know about what it is that you're studying in internal medicine but it is very detailed and sometimes you don't want to be overwhelmed with information you just want to, something that's easy to understand and then sometimes you have an assignment and you can't find anything about the books, I'm pretty sure you'll find it in Harrison's. That is why Harrison's is not on my list of must-haves, but is on my um, honorable mentions. And so that's all the textbooks that I recommend for internal medicine. Now I want to talk about the revision guides, tests, um, the, the books for like revision guides and all those kind of things. So seeing as the internal medicine is quite the bulky course or um, subject as or whatever you want to call it I do have quite a number of revision books and test books and question books and case books that I like to use and that I recommend and so from this long list you can find the ones that you feel will help you and you can use those so the first one is pretest medicine um, pretest Medicine basically just has a bunch of questions as clinical questions as well as like the more theoretical kind of questions as well So you do have that balance the next one that I want to talk about is medicine at a glance core cases And this also happens to be my favorite book to use when I want to revise my internal medicine This has a bunch of cases and it asks you questions based on those um, cases and clinical um, uh, those clinical cases and so what you do is you read over the case and then ask the questions that follow from the case and it's mostly gonna test your diagnostic skills your treatment and um, can you recognize what disease it is how to treat it and the next one I would say is Kumar and Clark's cases in clinical medicine now obviously this one would be on the list because Kumar and Clark's textbook itself is quite a good book so it's no doubt that their casebook would also be a good book to use to revise your medicine especially after studying from Kumar and Clark's textbook itself. The next book I want to talk about is Case Files Internal Medicine and throughout this series you will hear me talking about case files because case files is quite a good resource to use to study and revise and test your knowledge and see how much you know how much you don't know. The next book is is board review from Medscape and I use this one from time to time. The next one I would say is 500 single best answers in internal medicine and this one is perfect if you're looking for just a simple book of multiple choice questions and um, you choose one answer. This is very good for practice because I find that in exams the, the short answer questions, the long answer questions and the case analysis is quite manageable but sometimes I find that the um, single choice questions were quite difficult and so this is a good book to revise and just test your knowledge and get used to answering the single choice question. Next book is Deja Review of Internal Medicine and Deja Review series is also another uh, series of books that I do tend to use quite a lot and will be talking about through this series and so it has basically just like from simple questions to complicated questions in internal medicine. Then if you're looking for a challenge and you want to step things up a bit then Harrison's Principles of Internal Medicine Self-Assessment and Board Review. This book is just a book of questions and these are questions that sometimes if you find that you haven't studied well or even if you studied well, they can be a bit overwhelming and you can find yourself pretty demotivated because 
it's quite hard um, the quizzes are quite hard they're not like the same as all the other review books that I've talked about but that's quite a good book to have then because you get to challenge yourself and the more questions you do the easier it becomes and so I highly recommend that you get yourselves this book and the second last one is Lang's question and answer internal medicine this one kind of reminds me of Deja Review but um, I use both of them anyway and then the last book is Medicine Recall I highly recommend getting Medicine Recall because you get to recall your medicine just like the book says. So guys, that is it for today's video. I shared all the books and resources I find useful in internal medicine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope these books will make your life in medicine easier and that you will actually start to enjoy your internal medicine rotation. Please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know which books are your favorite. If you use any of them, let me know which ones you're excited to try out and have never heard of. Share this video with your classmates, friends and family and those of you people that you know that are doing medicine because it might help them as well. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss the next video from me in this series and I will see you in the next one.